Well, good morning and welcome to the workshop. Now I've held some pretty strange things in this lathe, but I think this is definitely gonna be one of the oddest. So what is this rather odd casting? Well, it is in fact a feed pump, a water feed pump for the boiler. This eccentric will have a strap around it and a, a rod, which will push a ram back and forth in the body of the pump here. This little section here is a, a the valve, valve area, the valve box. So we've got a lot of machining to do on this and we're gonna do it on the lathe, which is gonna be super exciting. So in theory, the first operation is meant to grip it here. I think the most sensible modern model engineering solution for this would be to clamp this down with the wings as a register on the table and then use a boring head uh, in reverse to make this perfectly cylindrical. That's still an option. But remember, 1948, most people didn't have a vertical mill, uh, let alone a horizontal mill, let alone a boring head. So I reckon I can probably do this with files and get this more cylindrical and less tapered. center finder as best I could with the blade of it flat against the front face to try and establish a center point because when I spin up this pie it just looks wildly off center um, but as you can see the well, I don't know if you can see but the, the the lines I've scribed are you know pointing at the little center pip I just made with the center drill We need to drill this number 14. Why number 14 particularly? I don't know, because it looks like it's reading 3 16ths, but let's drill it number 14 anyway. Here goes nothing. Here's my D bit that's been ground up. It's nice and snug in the Jacobs chuck. I actually roughed out some of this with this 5 16 um, stop drill. I would have liked to have used the D bit completely though so what I think I might do is just keep this in the drawer then when I've finished with this or at least finished this operation I'll get some bits of aluminium out and start trying to use that again. I'm just using the chuck here to hold this tab not to do it under power but just to make sure it goes in nice and straight. With a blind hole like this, you can't just use the taper tap. You have to use a plug tap as well. Well, that's all the machine we can do from this perspective. The next piece of work is to turn this around on a mandrel that's going to be screwed into this bit. We're just going to drill and tap this 3 8 by 32, so I won't bother showing that, but that's what I'm doing. And that's the end result. We now need to look at the, the body of the pump, which is here. Now, Curly Lawrence's instructions say, chuck the body up via the piece opposite. And as you can see, there is there is no piece opposite here. And this so this is the water pump casting, and I've machined up some corresponding steel pins which can screw in here and here to protect the very soft bronze. And now I should hopefully be able to hold this in the fore jaw.
and this is how far we've got with the axle pump, at least in this episode. There are a few more bits and bobs to do. We need to make the gland boss, we need to make the two valves that will appear here, and I'll be making them from scratch rather than buying them, so that's quite exciting. Um, you'll see I had to take a bit more meat off of here so it gripped properly in the fore jaw. Um, but overall, I'm really pleased with how it went. I did try and use a rather big drill here, and it, it immediately whacked this off center and it was going crazy, but I managed to reseat it and I bored it out. And I'm generally not very confident with boring, but managed to get this, you know, aiming for, for uh, three quarters of an inch and, and got it you know, pretty much bang on. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how that's gone out. So next little bits in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this one. It was uh, It felt like it was long enough, certainly. And I will see you soon.